Next one up, this is a quick one. Uh, Bitcoin censors on Facebook. I don't know exactly how much this is uh, is true because it says, this is nine hours ago from you today. And it just says that uh, if you use the hashtag Bitcoin, you're going to get something like this. And I believe this is in German. I don't speak uh, German, but uh, I think it is. Post mid them hashtag Bitcoin word in here. And I'm not going to try to, to pronounce this, but I mean, from what I can tell, what I ran through Google Translator, it's like, hey, you can't use uh, hashtag Bitcoin. It's against our guidelines. <laughs> That's really what it says. So which is a real shame because you can use hashtag Libra all day long and they don't do anything. But again, keeping our community safe. That's how it is in Germany. I, mean, I did it on, on my website. It seems to go through. But uh, again, you know how it works. Uh, they have to crawl and there's all these bots. So maybe they'll take it down. If it does, I'll post it on uh, over on YouTube on the community tab. But uh, so far, so good. So again, who knows how accurate it is. It's just interesting to talk about, but uh, we'll see. And last up, this one sucks. Uh, British grandma loses 65,000. And it's not that she lost it initially, but it's what happened afterwards. This is a bummer. So again, when people talk about like, how can you lose money? You know, how can you fall for this? Well, it's not just you. I mean, me and you are probably pretty savvy. We're not going to fall into this nonsense, right? But you have to understand, there's a lot of people who are coming in have no idea what's going on. They know kind of what Bitcoin is and what it does. But you have to watch out for the most vulnerable, right? And those are senior citizens. And this is a perfect example. So this lady, I don't know her name, but she became uh, pretty interested in the idea after watching an episode of uh, BBC's Dragon's Den. I don't know what that is. Uh, if you're from uh, UK, let me know. The whole reason why she got into it is because she wanted to make a little money so she could send her grandkids to a private school. I mean, that's a sweet story, right? And what happens is she ended up putting 42,000 pounds into confirmed scam broker X tick, I don't know who that is, that got eventually shut down. So again, on a weekly basis, I get about 20 or 30 offers to do some kind of promotion or something, and they all suck. I, I just, maybe some of them are good and some are legit, but just to protect everybody on this channel, I do not talk about most anything. And there are things that I do talk about, like CryptoTrader.tax, I Trust Capital, Trade the Chain with Alex Mascioli. Those are the three, and that's pretty much it. That's all I really talk about. I mean, if I'm going to talk about anything, it's pretty well done. Oh, also, uh, uh, Stonebook, the Shield Folio. I mean, that just makes sense, right? But I'm not going to sit here and talk about some crazy exchange or some crazy ICO or some crazy new coin or IEO. Whatever. I just, they just don't. And this is one of the reasons because of that. I'd rather pass on a good one than give anybody a bad one and then have them lose all their money like this poor lady. So so that's bad enough that she lost that 42,000 pounds, but here's where it gets pretty awful. So a fraudster pretending to be an investigative officer from Financial Conduct Authority or FCA contact the woman a few months afterwards via email and swindle her into paying another 25,000 pounds on the premise of returning her initial loss. I mean, how Dirty is that? Dirty. That's just awful. Such stories are not uncommon. Elderly people are the main target of crypto scammers who have permeated social media. Last year, a couple lost almost a million worth of pension funds after being swung by criminals. So imagine working your whole life, working your tail off, putting away, doing all the right things, all the cost averaging, whatever else it is, and, and you have a pension coming, and then somebody takes it away because you're like, oh, this looks like a pretty good opportunity, and I can help my grandkids out or something. Whatever. It's just awful. It's just awful. And uh, hopefully, if you have any of your elderly parents or grandparents, you can inform them what's going on so they don't get caught up in this kind of nonsense. And look, uh, when I worked for home health, I saw this all the time. And that's why I tr I really need to do more for that uh, scam of the day. But uh, hopefully articles like this and then what we talked about yesterday with the uh, Ledger Nano, uh, if you get any kind of email or text message uh, asking for your personal information, of course, that's a scam. They don't do that. So as time goes on, we see more articles like this. I know people are like, why do you even talk about this? It's so dumb. It's because we need to have people like you teach other people so they don't get scammed. And then people can come into this uh, space and not get ripped off. And they can say, oh, I, I would like to invest into Bitcoin or whatever it is. So anyhow, that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me for the whole video. I really appreciate it. If you don't know, I got a second channel. It's called Digital Asset News Clips. And I made it for two reasons. One, because sometimes I get a little loquacious. I talk a little bit too much. And I want to break down all the clips. So you can go over there, sign up, and uh, you'll get notified of just the clips of these types of videos. Or if things just get a little bit too busy, just find the clip that you want and then just uh, you know check that out. The second reason is because if uh, YouTube says, hey, we don't like digital asset news and they you know they bust me down and they uh, take away my channel, I have a backup. So uh, if you could just check that out every so often, that'd be great. And that's all I have for today. So again, 
Thanks for sticking with me. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you on the next one.